Hello all, welcome back to another video on Snowflake. In this video, we are going to focus on Snowflake scripting. Snowflake recently introduced Snowflake scripting, which is extension to Snowflake SQL. This new feature allows us to write the procedural script outside the stored procedure. It also enables us to do the conditional checks, looping the code, and as well as it made us uh, easy to handle the exceptions. Uh, I'm so excited to learn this new feature and uh, uh, hope you also join with me and I'll do the multiple videos uh, for the snow Snowflake scripting. So as a start, let's uh, work on the anonymous block. So basically my requirement is I need to create two tables uh, in the, uh, in the uh, under the public schema and uh, needs to insert a couple of records. Uh, this I wanted to do through the anonymous block. So first uh, in anonymous block, we'll have uh, three sections, declaration, begin, and then exception. But as of now, I'm dealing with the declaration begin only in the exception part we'll uh, we'll check later so i'm defining the variable whatever the variables that needs to be defined can be done at the declaration section so as of now i'm defining one variable called result giving the where can data data type so here i'm creating two tables create table and creating another table after creation of the tables, I need to insert the data into them. So writing insert statements. Similar like that, let's insert data into DBT as well. Okay, so, so this is the anonymous block. So what we did is we declared the variable and I didn't use it yet and created two tables and inserting some data. So here I can put the re uh, return uh, as well uh, to make sure that the anonymous block executed or not. So return, I'm re going to return result. Here, here I can pass the default value as success. Okay, so let's run this and see. So when you execute this one in the classic uh, 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 Snowflake uh, 
web UI. So you will get the error message saying that there is some syntactical error. So basically, if you need to run an anonymous block, execute an anonymous block in classic URL, uh, that's uh, you need to uh, directly you cannot do that you need to go with the execute immediate and then define uh, entire block here and then execute it okay so now you can see the result as success Right, and then go to to the schema and check. You can see the two rows are available. So department also two rows are available. Let's preview the data and see what we got here. Okay, and then preview the data for EMP as well and see that whatever we have given the record scheme. So that's how the anonymous block works. But if you are executing the same uh, in uh, in a snow site, so this execute immediate might not required, uh, is not required rather. So uh, you can exit only this block. So let me go to there and try to execute them. So here I'm going to, since the tables already exist, so it might throw an error. So let's run it and see what error we'll get and then we'll fix it later. So if you see here, there is a statement error saying that EMP already exists. So, but we are again trying to create, though the UI is different, but we are connecting to the same database here and there. So, right. So what I can do here is create table. If not exists, I'll put, right? So same thing for DUPT also, just for just checking. Maybe for a few, it might not make sense, but I'm just trying to execute it and see how uh, in the snow site without executing a date can be done. And uh, since the uh, same, so we can expect four records on each table because we duplicated the data, right? So go and check here. You can see that four rows are there, right? You can see the data here, same data, but it repeated. So similar like that, you can go to the, see the data repeated two times but ultimately the main in, main uh, thing that we need to remember is when you are executing from the snow site you need not to define the anonymous block within the execute immediate section right so this is how the basic anonymous block works um, in the next uh, video we'll talk more about how to deal with the variables what is the scope of the variable um, and uh, you know uh, how to handle the exceptions and the rest of the things